hello uh, hello also from youtube channel welcome uh, to today's uh, video in the last uh, three videos we have uh, seen uh, about vector HMS all right so in the last uh, three videos we have seen the pre-processing stages for project setups Basin processing and uh, as well as characteristics for, for the river uh, or the basins uh, was uh, determined and also some parameters for the river and the basin is also uh, determined and uh, finally we have uh, seen the some hack HMS uh, subtitle like uh, map to hack HMS images check data again the hack HMS schematics legends outward coordinates and the likes and we have uh, finished uh, our last tutorial on Tyson polygon how to do a Tyson polygon on hack to HMS okay by uh, doing this by uh, importing those meta stations all right so you can see uh, the names of the meteorological stations are available here all right which is those are the meta stations which may contribute to the watershed therefore for today's uh, tutorial it is better to do Tyson polygon. We will uh, see how to create Tyson polygon for uh, this polygon watershed. All right. So you have, if you have, if you have uh, such informations to do that, uh, uh, we should go to this uh, utility. Utility assign hydroid and can assign a, an hydro id for the meat stations i think we have uh, done this part the last time uh, if you open that will be table yeah we have assigned the hydro id for each stations we have uh, hydro id 10 uh, i mean under 4 is for uh, date uh, skuna is uh, under 5 radar under 6 and the like therefore we have assigned the hydro id for the mate stations and after you have uh, assigned the those hydro id for the mate stations you can do the gate tyson polygon select utility gate tyson polygon go to this um, utility under the execute gms and uh, it says uh, gate tyson polygon before you can do Tyson polygon now for the input rhodium is a uh, rhodium then the input gauge point here is the mid station that we have created the mid stations then say okay so if you uh, say okay you can uh, create Tyson polygon Tyson polygon all right this is a Tyson polygon Tyson polygon and uh, after you have uh, created, it, uh, created a Tyson polygon such a like the other thing here is you should uh, do gauge weights the weights for uh, uh, Tyson polygon so to do that select a HMS made a model files and there is gauge weights okay I uh, go to this like HMS meet model files and there is gauge weights and uh, the sub basin as well as the gauge point is located mobile fault is extracted so say okay and uh, it uh, gives you the locations of the mate file here yes therefore uh, yeah I would like to uh, 
override since I have tried before that is why so yes yes overwrite everything call name it and be files are successfully uh, created okay say so okay therefore if I have working uh, these gauge weights gauge weights uh, let us see the uh, uh, gay poly it will be a table you see the polygons for instance if you open this one this is a station one gauge stations and its names are there its area coverage also I draw ID shape length shape area and the likes are available okay and if you see uh, if you uh, have finished those things one more thing here is one more thing you should have to do here is uh, um, you see create HKMS project for uh, your HKMS models you see from the HKMS click on HKMS uh, and there is create HKMS uh, project setup after that you can uh, you can uh, create your own uh, HKMS project good so to do that go to this HKMS create HKMS project and uh, under this under select HKMS project you should give the folder or the uh, what we are working is for instance my folder from E is uh, which is HKMS and HKMS this one I will give this one after you have giving this name this name the select basing file from this the basing file here is now will get up by basing file you should select this one say open and the mate file if you open this one it directs you yeah will get up by mate open and uh, select uh, uh, gauge file the gauge file is uh, selected now gauge file is this one open it and you can give the name under this HKMS run name you can give for instance for from this user manual let's say it's developed by HKMS since it is uh, for an input of HKMS so let me give us will girl uh, by HKMS uh, and you can uh, adjust your uh, simulation start date so your last simulation ending date and also time interval in minutes it means one hour and the likes it may have uh, some uh, uh, notes you can read about those intervals so for this tutorial let me use this manual I'm uh, okay this one so um, you can read more about it about the time interval so if you uh, select this one say okay therefore and since i have worked before and it uh, says to uh, overwrite and i would like to overwrite yes hkms project file copy a report yes we have done uh, this creating hkms project and the other thing should be the other thing should be um, uh, what we are required is you should open any HKMS now and you can uh, open this uh, the saved Gilgala uh, HKMS project so you can work on uh, that to do your uh, project on HKMS therefore therefore uh, we have we should have to save it let me save it and uh, uh, let us open a new uh, HKMS here all right we have saved it let me open a new HKMS here <coughs> sorry
good now a new hacky cam is uh, uh, software is now opened here so after you have finished your task after you have finished your uh, tasks on hack to HMS, go to this file actually this is a hack to HMS, uh, 4.7 version it has its own toolbars file as you to view and it has its own uh, uh, components we will see that uh, there is GPS parameters and compute when we are uh, working on uh, calibration we will uh, use this one and uh, we should have results here it's a global summer playlist and you can use also this uh, queue start uh, guides user manuals you can uh, obtain uh, user manuals from this help so uh, to start with go to this file since we are opening we will open the uh, created hack HMS from uh, hack to HMS output therefore a file then go to this open and I would like to open uh, Gilgala by hack to HMS and browse it uh, my uh, project is located on E double click on it and um, hack to HMS and hack HMS you see at the bottom at the bottom of this uh, folder you have gilabai.hms you can select it and uh, uh, open this one and uh, the selected project from hack hms version 3.5 and will be converted to version 4.7 you will not uh, be able to use the project in hack hms version 3.5 after conversion do you want to wish to convert the project since the version is uh, different it uh, uh, asks you to uh, convert the project so yes I would like to use uh, the model in version 4.7 I'll ask it as convert project and now um, the model the model is now to extract the data from the hex to HMS in such a way and there are some warnings here those warnings may not have uh, that much uh, uh, effect on the model we, we will uh, may um, use calibration uh, processes to uh, reduce our errors therefore this is a gila by uh, project if you double click on Beijing models here is a busy models you see this is a busy model yeah the busy models and uh, we can import we can uh, import our maps the shapes okay map layers here uh, I would like to add for instance the uh, Beijing shapes select it and uh, select I like to uh, select and you can also predefine the coordinates it is a uh, universal transfer mercator it m and uh, for Ethiopia the Ethiopia Amazon the location is on 37 degree north and the data is uh, WGS 84 you should uh, select those things the hemisphere is north northern hemisphere and select it and uh, see it okay so we have uh, we can add the shapes in such a way the shapes in such a way and under this under uh, this uh, map layer we can uh, draw the properties we can change the colors all right the colors for instance I would like to make the color ramp as uh, this one so if I say apply I, uh, the color background color is now changing and say okay so we can add in such a way and also we can add rivers rivers the watershed yeah rivers and uh, the river color you know that the colors of the rivers is uh, blue we can change the colors 
color ramp as blue okay and the style is uh, all right this one you can change the width maybe like this can uh, use ticks or um, as you want all right so apply you can see those are the rivers in it's a watershed apply then uh, you can have uh, such a map on the busy modes on the busy model okay if you have uh, those things so we have around uh, 25 or 24 sub basins that's why those are available here and we have one outlet one outlet you see this is outlet and this one is a uh, watershed those are the uh, auto names when we are giving before we can uh, add different parameters here the methods for uh, surface runoff and the legs as you have uh, selected you see for load method for instance we have selected SCS for transform uh, we have uh, also selected the SCS for the base flow we have selected uh, the restriction meters and the likes okay that is why so we will adjust those and uh, things uh, for the next video and uh, if you have seen uh, those things there are uh, also another methodical models we will uh, give methodological data for each sub watershed the gauge weight the weights of uh, the gauge for uh, weight for each meteorological stations around seven or something uh, some else uh, so watersheds are there and uh, there is precipitation gauge here precipitation gauge good and also there is control specifications here the control specification is the time okay we will give the starting and uh, uh, ending date of our the simulation we will uh, see that there is time series data those time series uh, data uh, here is the uh, first is precipitation gauge here is precipitation gauge here for each each stations are there each stations that day was and the likes now uh, we have uh, created our uh, model in such a like all right so uh, save your work here and you can close so uh, this is uh, the second the fourth video on hack uh, jhms modeling and for the next video we will see uh, we will work on hack hms by inserting the input data like precipitation actual evapotranse directions and also some um, watershed parameters like uh, weight gauge and so on so it is enough for uh, today thank you for your watching have a nice time bye